Welcome to 13 Hour Time 62's Lego Media Reviews. In today's review, we have one of, uh, yet another CD-ROM game, Lego Studio, um, Lego Stunt Rally. This game is based on the Lego Town Car Racers, which was around 2000. Here are some other great games from Lego Media. Including this game itself. This game is playable from one to four players. However, story um, um, tournament mode is played with only one player, as you would figure. This game is centered completely around racing, and you can also build your own tracks. So you can race against your friends. And, um, if you race in the tournament mode, you get to unlock new cars, and new track pieces, and new areas. You see lots of different features in this video. You'll even see some LEGO products at the time. The construction vehicles. The crane. What was a monster truck. These were actually some Lego um, sets. However, much promotion value did not appear in these. Like, you, you couldn't really play. You, lots of the cars were used. Oh, I also mentioned the digger you see down here. I've reviewed that. That exact digger. In one of my face off videos. And some of the Ar um, Arctic sets. Not many sets really were based, um, you know, there were some in, there were some based on actual sets. Some were not, you know, some of the models in here were not made into Lego sets. I'm Mr. X, the world champion and owner of Stunt Island. If you need help, move the hand pointer over something on the screen, then I'll tell you what it does. Basically, these four vehicles are actual Lego sets. There are a few others in the game that are that have been made into actual Lego sets. I actually own three of these. Um, we're gonna get right down to racing because we can't build any much. We can't really build much yet. Welcome to the Stunt Island map. This is where you choose your races in the Stunt Rally Championship. You must win all of the races in the four different areas before you can race against me to become world champion. To start your first race, just click on the flashing marker. Oh. These characters are also based on Lego sets. Yeah, I finally got the, uh... Looks like the text works today, because I tried to review this video, or at least test drive it yesterday, and I didn't quite get the, um... The text didn't show up in any of the text boxes. Here's one thing I find interesting about this mode, when you select a car. You can actually redesign the paint patterns. We only have a few to choose from now. You can redesign the, the tires. You can see that when you choose different tires, the car's top speed and grip indicators will change. These are marked over on the side, and they actually do make a difference. If you're running into mud, you're going to need the right tires to, to go pass through it. One thing I found interesting about the options in here, other than the go, Click here to continue on to the race. you have randomize button, which randomizes the color and the type of car, and you also have a print button. Now uh, over here I actually have printouts from some of the cars you get later in the game. And I've wanted to make these into actual Lego models. This Jeep I've actually made when it will be featured in an upcoming mock sometime later this week. It's not 100% accurate, but piecewise, it's pretty close. So let's get down to racing. This is where we look at who is competing in the race. Press the big blue race button if you are happy with the 
I'm gonna turn off the um, Mr. X just so we don't have the, all the interruptions. Even though I was explaining things. So this is your basic racing course. This is the first one in the tournament. You can control the speed. Or a bit. Here are the basic controls for first player. Up, down, left, right. Now depending on how fast you go, it will actually control the car is driving on the track. To be honest, I'm only holding the up button. But if you drive too fast and you make a sharp turn, it'll throw uh, the car off a little bit. You do have control over turning left and right, and slowing down if needed. We also have the horn for honking. Pressing enter will allow you to use the horn. A one! So we got one piece. One extra thing for, for racing. Now this car can also be redesigned in different colors. In later courses you'll be able to get different um, track pieces, worlds to use. Can you see that? There's the car. Now I'm gonna turn sorry to interrupt. If you need some help, remember you can click on the question mark. Okay. Bye for now. I'm back. I'm actually gonna turn them on. I'm gonna see if I can um Welcome back. get the video to work. This is the this is I'm just gonna skip right through. Okay, we don't have the video yet. Usually in the bottom corner over here, there will be a small video where for fun it can show you the kinds of, um, it'll show you your character and a few emotional reactions to if he bumps into a car, if he gets hit by something, if he's going really fast, or if he's stuck in mud, or spins out of control. It's kind of fun sometimes. It keeps you entertained while, while um, racing through a track. Now there are other horns other than this. But for this car, this is the only one I'm working with. You will be able to use the enter button for, for getting power-ups, as you've probably seen in the intro video, where you get to drive with straight tires, um, yeah, you get super boosts, you can freeze people, lots of fun power-ups to use. Once again, may I remind you that, like all of our other media reviews concerning video games, I would ask if you maybe, um, if you're interested, you may, you are allowed to comment below, um, if you want me to make walkthroughs of any LEGO games. I'm happy to do so um, if you guys request it. Now there are some that I um, may not be able to do reviews for, or may not be able to do entire walkthroughs on, but um, I'll try what I can. I have most Lego games. Congratulations, you've won a race. Let's see if we can go through one more race. So we got all. All the opponents that we can possibly have. And we got the first guy. Now I want to change the settings just for a second. I want to see if we can get the video inside. Maybe. That might do it. Welcome back. I'm gonna change your car up a little bit. And let's see what we got. Okay, so we don't have the video still. 
I could try to work on that. So here we go. This is our first power up. This is a boost. This will probably be the prize that we'll win at the end of the race, as well as another car. Usually when you first an opponent for the first time, you get their car once you win. And winning, yes, does count if you are in first place, not second, not third. On the top part of the screen, you can see the, the number one and a blank space. That's where your power-up will be shown, and any future power-ups that you get during the race. Yep, so we won both. Congratulations, you won the race. Now we're just going to quickly show you the construction mode. This is where we build new racing tracks. It's quite easy once you know how. You can start building straight away. Try taking something out of the tray with the mouse and dropping it in the world. Let me show you an error right here. Alright, be quiet. You can see that 